Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another unboxing of Disney Loracana the Trading Card Game, the first chapter. So this is the special gift set box, um, which contains four booster packs, two special tracker tokens, two playable foil cards, and two oversized cards. So we're going to get like the two big cards you see here, the two special cards here, uh, and then four booster packs and some tokens. You can see everything on the outside of the box. Um, Probably thought it'd be a cool idea to like open it up, see what's actually in there, get some more boosters. Um, and maybe see if the two cards actually do this if there's something you might want to get. Um, I mean, yeah, they show on the back here everything you're getting, so it's not like anything's a big surprise. Um, kind of like how the cards work, what they do. Um, yeah, so they're they're very revealing on that, so it's not like any hidden things. Um, if you don't know what Laura Kana is and you want a little brief idea of how the game works and everything, go check out um, part one of the Laura Kana videos where I kind of go through that. Then after that, we went through the three starter decks. If you want to know what's in the starter deck, you can check out the um, other parts of the videos. But for now, we're going to hop into this. Uh, and then we'll eventually get into like some booster box back there um, in a different video. So let's open this up and see what we have. I guess one of the things where they probably didn't need to make this box so big um, for everything, but that's what we get. So there are our tokens. We get some extra. There's our packs of cards and our extra cards. We're going to take a look at those in just a second. Um, but yeah, we're going to get some extra colors. So, like, comparing these to the starter deck ones, they're the same. There's our starter deck lore counter. But this one, we're going to get one for Mulan and one for Hades. Um, so it's kind of neat, I guess. Um, it's easy to get them. I hope that they, with this, now we have one for, um, sorry, Amber, one for Ruby. It'd be neat if they made them for all of the other colors as well. Uh, what's also neat here is there's our ones. We have some threes. You have a bunch more because you only get a handful of threes in a starter deck. You get three of them, and that. So this is going to get you a lot more extra counters as well. Plus, we have some minus fives, which are really nice, because some of the characters have, you know, six, seven, eight health um, or defense. It's nice to have some extra counters there. Um, I mean, actually, if we look on the side here, we have some more ones there. So at least that's one thing I will appreciate, the fact they utilize this box space. They could just put this on one token sheet one or two small token sheets you could print out that way. But if you're going to use this big giant grand box as a big displayer, at least utilize it like this, like all the different spots in here. All these extra cards. The extra five cards are really fun. You can't get them in the starter deck, so those are really nice. Um, although, again, lots of people might just use counters or dice or whatever. Uh, so that's pretty fun there. Uh, let's take a look at the actual cards. So there's one of our booster packs. We have Good old Elsa there. I'm going to scan her up on top of there for a minute. So we'll have our four booster packs. We'll have our small cards and our big cards. So I'm going to look at the small cards first. I'm going to open these up. Now these are the exact same cards you would get um, later on. If you get in packs, they're just foil versions. So we have Hades here. We'll look at you a little bit more closer. That's a rare version. And that's a super rare version of Mulan. And then we have big, giant, oversized versions. Um, which, see, yeah, my camera can't seem to fit in my camera. Yeah, she has a big, giant, oversized version compared to a regular card. Which are really cool to get um, in games. You really need to have. Uh, I like them better in games where, like, uh, I see them like Magic the Gathering. They're kind of cool because they could be commander cards. So you could literally have them sitting off to the side and they don't have to be in your deck. Um, so like this are just neat because of the artwork and that's really cool on there. I prefer like more of an alternate art for a big giant card or like a full art version with like less of the text. That would have been cooler. But they're still pretty neat to have. Alright, so we're going to look at them. But before we look at them, before we look at Mulan, we're going to read her little. Her little uh, back thing here. So we have Mulan, the Imperial Soldier. 
A true leader is not one who directs, but one who inspires. The undaunted courage of this familiar heroine spurs her allies to reach for victory and makes others think twice about getting in her way. Alright, so what does she do? The Imperial Soldier version, ha she costs 5, she has 4 attack, 5 defense, Storyborn, Hero, and Princess. Uh, so this is like her movie version. Lead by example, during your turn, whenever this character banishes another character in a challenge, your other character gets plus 1 lore this turn. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so what she does is, if she defeats somebody, everyone else gets one extra lore. So they can do a lot of questing. So basically if you can you know finish off you can do a bunch of questing. That's really cool. Um it's also a super rare, which is really neat. Um now if you don't if you're just trying to get the full set and you don't care if they're foil or not, this is a great way to pick up two extra rare cards. Uh but if you're you know not if you're not trying to get the rare, uh, you don't want the foils and these don't really matter. Alright, then our other big card here is Hades, such what he says. Hades, King of, Olymp King of Olympus, what if Hades ruled your gods? This reimagined villain of the underworld puts the power of the celestial throne in your hands. Controlling and ambitious, he uses his subject to get what he wants. Surround him with other villains and watch him gain a lot of lore fast. So this is the Floodborne version. Um, of the three types, you have Storyborne, which are the movies. Movie, TV shows, the regular version. The Dreamborn, which are kind of like the dream or fantastical versions of the characters, and then Floodborne, which are basically alternate versions of the characters. So this is essentially if Hades became the King of Olympus. I love how he has, you know, long, long flowing hair instead of where he's normally like flaming bald or shooting upwards. That's kind of neat. Um, he's an amber, says villain, king, and deity. Cost eight, so he's expensive, but he gets you six attack, seven defense, which is pretty high. Shift six, you may pay six uh, ink to play this on top of one of your characters named Hades. So this is kind of neat because if you have another Hades, he can come out cheaper. Um, and then plus, you can activate his abilities quicker or attack right away. He has Sinister Plot. This character gains plus one more for each other villain character you have in play. So, it, like Mulan is. Making all your other characters better. Um, Hades is making himself better. So, oh, hey, I'm going to need a new business card. Um, that's really fun. And then, yeah, these are both foil. Um, I'm trying to see what, what if I tell exactly what you're holding, but you can't. Well, it just looks like maybe some magic. Uh, but that's really cool. So, we got those two cards and we got the big versions. Of course, maybe we can tell better in the big version. I think it's just supposed to be some gold magic. I thought maybe it was like the Threads of Fate or something like that. But um, I also love all the new artwork on all the cards. Um, Alright, so we're going to open up the four boosters. We have each booster has 12 cards. One foil of any rarity. So you can easily get a couple you know, extra rares in the deck. Um, two rares or higher. So rare, super rare, or legendary. Three uncommons and six commons. So we'll crack these open and see what we got. We're going to look at the Maleficent pack first. Not that that makes any difference. But we'll also see the interesting to see if we get, um, obviously these are all random. So if you buy this set, you're not going to get the same cards I get. But we'll see if we get anything that might work really well with these characters. Um, Alright, so first up, our first common is Dr. Facilier, Charlatan. Uh, Storyborn, Villain, and Sorcerer. He has Challenger plus two. Well, Challenger this character gets plus two attack. Um, this should work well with Hades if you're playing the two colors together because uh, he'll boost up uh, Hades, but he also can gain extra attack. We have Megra uh, pulling the strings. This is our Dreamborn version. Wonder Boy, when you play this character, chosen character gains plus two attack this turn. Mickey Mouse, Detective, Dreamborn, Hero Detective. Get a clue when you play this character, you may put the top card of your deck in the ink wall face down and exert it. So this is very helpful for um, accelerating being able to play cards. This might be good to play with um, with the Hades deck if you want to play those two colors together because you might be able to get Hades out quicker. Um, although now you have a hero instead of a villain. We have Pick Up Hand. Uh, Fearless Fighter, 
storyboarding hero Rush, his character, to be challenged to turn their plate. Nobody tall as Panga Coward and lives. I'll fight you, Manga Man, with one hand behind my back. Um, yeah, fairly simple, basic card. Comes out, does stuff. Red's always been pretty aggressive. Ooh, we got Simba. So, um, another hero that didn't really help with our villain deck, but, um, Protective Cubs, Storyboarding Hero Prince, Bodyguard. This character can enter play exerted and opposing a character who challenges with one of your characters must choose one with Bodyguard if able. Now, this might work well with Milan, just because you could have him be a Bodyguard, um, and then now you're if he's obviously attacks and you have to exert if you help protect someone from attacking Mulan um and finishing her off. So that could be an interesting combo. Uh Captain Hook. Horse bolt duelist he's a dreamborn version. Villain, pirate, captain. Challenger plus two. Well challenge his character gets plus two attack. Sheep gets extra attack. Um Gang could work well with Hades. Uh, so it's our commons. Our uncommons, we have Moana, chosen by the ocean. Uh, two of six, six defense. Starborn, hero, princess. This is not who you are. When you play this character, you may bash a character named Ke Keika. Uh, you know who you are. So this is very interesting because it targets a specific character. Again, very storyline thematic. I don't know how well it's going to be. Um, I have to see what maybe her like maybe there's a reason why you might play it and then banish it. Um and that could be very powerful. Unless I think it's hard it's it's not always a good idea to like play a character, hope play a card hoping that somebody else plays the opposite, I guess. Alright, our next uncommon. Olaf, friendly snowman, just a one cost. Good defense, not bad. I am Olaf. I like warm hugs. Uh Gumba Jukaba, uh, Renegade Scientist, Dreamborn Alien Inventor. Um, not bad, pretty, a little higher cost, but good stats. Alright, so our first rare, Maleficent, uh, Biding Her Time, Dreamborn, that's an awesome outfit for her. Um, Villain and Sorceress, one cost, one attack, one defense. So, very simple, but yeah, you could, you know, include this, combine this purple with, uh, Hades deck. And, um, <clears throat> you know, that gives him a, a plus one. And then you get a cheap character out for it. Uh, did we get any other purples in here? Yeah, we we also had uh, Dr. Facilia right away. So you can also put him in there as well. Um, our other rare is a super rare, and it's another Mulan. That's hilarious that we got the regular Mulan. But hey, I'm not mad because I have a foil and a non-foil version. Plus, you can include multiples in your deck, so I could include two of these if I wanted to now. Then our foil is a common. It's uh, Mr. Smee. So if I can get that foil to show up. There we go. I can wait to like. Now the foils here are the same as these foils. They're not any different. So it's not like the uh, collector set got like an, or the gift set got like an extra special foil. It just got a foil version of the card, which you could pull in the packs as well. Uh, Mr. Smee, loyal first mate, dreamborn, ally, and pirate. I like this kind of like his dream version is just being like, you know, doesn't look like too shabby. Um, Mr. Smee is a kind, gentle soul who lives to bring comfort and aid to a twisted old villain. Now, what good is kindness like that? And then the last card is we have our um, little Mickey card. This shows off the corner of it. Still hoping that surprisingly I haven't gotten all four of these yet. Alright, we're going to open up a Mickey Brave Little Taylor pack, which is artwork right there. You can see it's the corner of his card. So we're trying to create. We'll see if we get it all. It'd be awesome if we pulled a Hades card to go with our Hades. Um, I'm trying to think if there was any other Mulan characters in this set. I don't remember. Alright, our first comic, we have Jafar, Wicked Sorcerer. Dreamborn, villain, and sorcery. The Dreamborn costumes are so cool. Um, Challenger plus three. So, I, yeah. If you want to use that Hades, these purple cards, they might be really good with them. The opposite of that is we have Aladdin, Prince Ali, who has Ward, opponent stance, chooses character, except challenge. Uh, Storyborn, hero, and prince. Um, 
That's so crazy. So the third card we did is Jasmine. So we just got the three main characters of Aladdin here. I swear, if we have a genie in here, I'm gonna just I'm gonna lose my mind. Um, just guys, Storyborn and Princess. So just pretty pretty even card. We have Elsa, Ice Surfer, uh, Dreamborn, Hero, Queen, and Sorcerer. That's not a Blizzard. That's no Blizzard. Whenever you play a character named Anna. Ready this character. The character can't quest for the rest of the turn. So these are fun cards to play because <clears throat> it basically means if you could quest with her or challenge with her, um, and then you could ready her if you play an Anna card, and then go ahead and challenge a second time. Or just not have her challenge. You could challenge her quest and then unexert her, um, like readier, and then have her not have to worry about taking damage on the next turn. So it's a kind of an interesting combination there. My sister's always been for me. I need to be there for her. That's cool. She has like an ice slide. Um, all right. Our next common is Healing Glow. Remove up to two damage from a chosen character. It's an action card. Um, this again, Daria Yellow card that could work good with your Hades card. Um, this one could work well with. Uh, if you have Anna and her, this could work well with Mulan because you could quest once and then um, if we actually played the Mulan card, which we have right here. Um, during your turn, whenever another character, whenever this character battles another character, your other characters get plus one this turn. So that would give her two, and then you could play Anna and then undo her, and then yeah, she gets an extra bonus out of it. So that could be cool. Uh, we have Prince Eric. Dashing and Brave, Storyborn, Hero, and Prince. Challenger, plus two, uh, gains two attack while challenging. Um, our first uncommon, one jump ahead. A character the cost of two or more can sing this song for free. Put the top card of your deck into your ink roll face down and exerted. This, like Detective Mickey, would help you play cards quicker. Um, Dottie, Dottie lived us to leave. Tell you all about it when I got the time. I love that. Oh, we got another song right away, too. We have Be Our Guest. Be Our Guest. Be Our Guest. Don't want to get copyright infringement. Um, play a cost of the cost of two can sing this. Well, the top four cards of your deck, you may reveal a character and put it into your hand. Then you may put the rest in the bottom of your deck in any order. So if you need to pull out that Hades, or if you have um, this Hades, and you need to pull in a different Hades, that's definitely a great way to do it. Our last uncommon is Frying Pan. Claim, banish this item. Chosen character can't challenge during the next turn. Um, it stops your characters from doing stuff. Definitely not bad. Our first rare, Maui. Hero to all. Storyborn, hero, and beauty. To rush this character can challenge the turn they played and reckless. Character can't quest and must be, it must challenge each turn if able. Um, just doesn't work as well with the uh, Mulan card because she wants to give people. Well, to an extent, it doesn't work because it doesn't work off her ability to give guys extra war to attack with. But it could work very well because he could jump in and do six damage, and Mulan could come in and finish off whoever's left. Like if he's take six, he's going to take out almost anybody. Um, and if they don't, like he's taking out someone higher. Like Hades, who have seven defense, all of a sudden Yama Long only needs to do one damage. Um, Alright, so our last rare is we got a legendary. That's awesome. Uh, Beast Wolfsbane. I love this. I love these Dream Boring cards. Um, Hero Prince. I also love that they refer to him as a prince, because he is. Um, uh, it's just neat that they do that. Rush, this character can challenge the turn they're playing. Roar, when this. When you play this character, exert all opposing damage characters. Oh, that is mean. So you can play him, exert all their damage characters, and then now you can attack right away and do four damage. So you can basically choose who you want to take out. I'll take on all of you if I have to. That is really cool. That's a really cool card. Um, all right, then our uh, foil is a just a common. But it's another Elsa. Uh, queen Regiment. Storyborn, Hero, Queen, and Sorcerer. Uh, I never knew what I was capable of. So it's a 4 cost, 4-4. Four, four. Um, so pretty much down the middle, but you need them cards. And then the last card is 
Mickey Mouse, Brave Little Taylor. So now we have three of those. All right, we got another Elsa pack. We'll pop that open. Awesome, we got a, suit, we got a legendary rare out of here. That's definitely worth it. Um, still looking to get that Haiti though, right? To work with the one we just got, but it's what it is. All right, pack number two. We got. The wardrobe. That was Confidant. Her Dreamborn version. It's so hilarious that they made her a Dreamborn version. It's like the best version of this wardrobe you can be. I'm sure her best version would not to be a wardrobe, but what do I know? Um, then we have the Duke of Westleton. Opportunist, opportunistic official. Storyborn and villain. Uh, so one cost, two pretty cheap. Maleficent. Sinister visitor. Um, four cost storyboarding villain sorcerer. The princess shall indeed grow in grace and beauty, beloved by all hill, but before the sun sets on her sixteenth birthday, she shall prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel. Um, so we got another Aladdin, Street Rat. Improvise when you play this card, each character loses one lore. Now imagine with this with Mulan, right? Um if you play it, your opponents all lose lore, and then now with Mulan you could potentially get more lore. Right, it's a good combination. Uh, Minnie Mouse, beloved princess, dreamborn princess, you know, regular basic card. Goons, Maleficent's underlings, storyborn and ally, just cheap characters to throw in there. Fan the flames, one cost action, ready chosen character they can't quest for the rest of this turn. Um, pretty word to move a crowd, but joking ugly ones is look do. Um, that's a pretty good card. Um, ooh, we got Anna to go with our Elsa now. Harold to Ed Adderall. I, ugh, hate that word. Uh, storyboarding hero and queen. Loving heart. When you play this character, if you have a character named Elsa in play, choose an opposing character. The chosen character doesn't ready to start on their next turn. Cool. So, um, what's neat about this, though, is because the Elsa one says, uh, yeah, so both of them are, when you play one, um, you gain a bonus. Well, the Elsa one was, where was she? She was in a different color, though. That's the only thing that's kind of, because so whenever you play a, play a character played named Anna, uh, this character can't, a uh, regular right character can't quest. So you have to play Anna to activate that. The difference is when you play her, if you have Elsa, so basically play Elsa first, then play this Anna, and they both trigger both of their abilities. So that's actually cool, because it's not like, if you play one, you get this, if you play the other direction, you get this. It, it focuses off playing in one direction or the other. But you have to do two different colors, so that's a very important thing to keep in mind. Um, cool, two sisters, one mind. Our next uncommon is Jasper, the common crook. Puppy nap, remember this character quest, opposing character can't quest during the next turn. Nice. Our first rare, Captain Hook, Captain of the Jolly Roger, Storyborn, Villain, and Pirate Captain. Double the Powder, when you play this card, you may return action card named Fire the Cannons from your discard pile to your hand. Kind of like the Anna Elsa one, these are kind of neat because it plays off a specific card, but also being a collectible card game, that kind of sucks because now you have to try and find these cards. Luckily, it's in one of the starter decks. Um, but it still always makes it kind of like, you don't buy a starter deck. You, know, you just buy booster packs. You might never get one of these cards. Um, our second rare is Lilo. Making a wish. Storyborn hero. A falling star. I have to make a wish. So, pretty simple card. But one cost because you two lore is pretty nice. Our rare card is a... Or our foil card is a rare card. Um, Plasma Blast, so that's cool. We got three rares in this pack then. Item, uh, Quick Shot, pay two to deal one damage to chosen character. Um, so yeah, if you have nothing else to spend your stuff on, damage to characters. Uh, you don't have to say pew pew when you use it, but it doesn't hurt. Um, and then we got the fourth piece of the Mickey Puzzle. I got one in another deck. Um, and with the starter decks, so we only got the three though so far in this. So we'll see if the fourth pack gets us the fourth piece or not. Otherwise we'll have to look at it. Um grab the one from the other sets. 
All right, let's see if we can get pack number four open. All right, pack number four, which is also another Elsa, if that matters to anyone. Let's see what we got. Starting up, we have a song, Friends on the Other Side. A charge, a charge, a charge, we tow. Um, character of three or more can, can sing this song. Draw two cards. Just drawing cards is never a bad thing. Uh, Mickey Mouse Steamboat Pilot. Um, hero... Captain, we have another captain card. Uh, on the river through the ink lunch, the steamboat's whistle answers the cheery tunes of its pilot. The magical golden flower. Heal and pollen. Banish this item. Remove up to three damage from your chosen character. Once upon a time, a single drop of sunlight fell from the heavens. Fling rider. Um, cool. I gotta definitely argue with that. Extra healing, right? Uh, Scar, fairly super. Um, Dreamboring, Usurper, Dreamboring, and Villain, so 4 cost, lots of attack, real defense, but this is definitely, that's definitely awesome artwork, I'm going to say every time I see that card. Um, Timon, Grub Rustler, Storyboarding, and Ally, tastes like chicken, when you play this character, you may move up to 1 damage from a chosen character. Uh, that'll definitely help keep your guys alive, so even though like, he's, an, he's not a hero or a villain, again, he could work with the Hades card there because he could help keep Hades alive. Um, or other villains alive so that he's, Hades keeps gaining those bonuses. Um, definitely some stuff there. Our last comment is Simba, Future King. Uh, hero, uh, storyboard, hero, and prince. Guess what? When you play this character, you may draw a card, then choose and discard a card. I'm going to do the Best king of pride lands I've ever seen. Um, yeah, definitely not bad. Like the drawing discarding is not always a bad idea either, especially for such a cheap cost. Our first uncommon, we have Bell, inventive engineer, a dream boring hero, princess, and inventor. So this is a really cool idea for her. Um, Tinker. Whenever this character quests, you may pay one less for the next item you play this turn. Oh, that's nice. We get some good items going. I don't... I think they only got one blue item so far, though. Um, a little ancient lady and a lot of heart will take you far in this world. Our second uncommon is... Have you forgotten me? Action. Each opponent chooses and discards two cards. Oh. I mean, at least it's not random. Um, I hate... I mean, you just card random, but like that still hurts. Uh, you are more than what you have become. Nice. Um, and then you're, hey, you go with Bell. We got the Beast. Uh, hard headed, storyboard, and prince. And everything. when you play this character, you may banish your chosen item. Break. That's kind of funny because, right, you could have these two together Beast and Bell. Bell could be playing equipment, and then Beast could be breaking your opponent, so like really hurting them. That's pretty funny. Alright, we have our first rare. We have the Genies. Yes, we completed that collection of four trio. Uh, this is the Floodborne. So the Floodborne, again, are like the alternate version. The Genie Powers Unleashed. Um, with Shift 6. This is kind of like the Hades. Uh, you may pay 6 to play this on top of one of your characters. So he's a 3 5. So he's not as powerful a stat for 8 cost like Hades was. Um, but what's his ability? is three war right away. That's nice. Evasive. Uh, only characters are evasive can challenge his characters. And phenomenal cosmic powers. Uh, whenever this character quests, you may play an action cost of five or less for free. Oh boy. Yeah, that's a pretty pretty good power for a cost of a character. Um, basically, most of your action cards will be free. Every time you quest. And you're going to quest a lot. Because you have three. Um, that's definitely nice. Uh, and then imagine if you put him with Mulan. Where he was questing for four. If she defeated somebody. That'd be cool. Alright our second rare is. Fishbone Quill. Go ahead and sign. Exert putting any face down. Any card from your hand into your ink wall face down. Just again works like the other blue cards you've seen. Where it just helps you see. Just to help a genie even. 
to help get him out quicker if he did something like that or Hades or whoever. Then our foil card is just the goons. And then look at that. That was our uh, last card. So out of all four packs, we got the full Mickey Mouse set. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to assemble that really quick. Whoops, help if I put them in the right order. And then we have a little Mickey poster. That's kind of cool. Um, although it would be neat if they had more than one picture. I know sometimes when these uh, older, older games used to go like Dragon Ball Z card game and stuff used to do this. But they have like two or three in each one so you can try and collect them. Be it it's just a one in every one. I did it more of the fact that you're doing it. They're putting you on more for this. You have that in every pack. Um, this is something to put on the back. But yeah, if they had different pictures, that would have been more cool. Because by the time you get done buying a bunch of packs, you're going to have like so many of these of the same character. Um, so that would kind of suck. Um, although they also could have been neat if they would have done something like had maybe the backs of these being like. Um, like something like damage counters or something like that, even like war counters, something with a kind of neat, um, just different gameplay elements. All right, so that is what we have for the gift pack. Um, is it worth buying if you for sure want to have these extra little counters, some different ones between the generic ones, if you really like the oversized artwork? Um, or if you're really hard pressed to make sure you get either Hades or Mulan, yeah, it's worth picking up. The extra counters are going to be like over the five, five counters, or if you want more counters. Um, or if you decide, hey, I don't want to buy a deck, I just want to buy booster packs, it's a good way to get all the different counters and stuff um, without having to buy a starter deck. Although the whole thing with these is they're supposed to work with the. Um, deck maps you get in the starter deck because they have little counters to keep track of so this didn't come with one of those so um which i really should have otherwise yeah i don't have anything to use those counters with necessarily so it's kind of like a weird mix thing there but um yeah if you're not really concerned about the extra special stuff you just pick up booster packs which is just the same uh, actually, guys, so check out the booster decks, the starter decks if you haven't. Check out the booster box on open if you want to see a lot more different cards. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying these videos. See you guys later. Bye.